Okay, we're now going to do the second part of this question. We've got some data that was collected at the local corner shop. The time taken for the first 25 shoppers again is summarised as follows. The shortest is 2 minutes, the lower quartile is 10 minutes, the median is 14, upper quartile is 17, and the longest is 25 minutes. Now, it says you use suitable diagrams to show the data distribution and compare the two. So, given that we've been given median, quartiles, longest and shortest, that makes sense that we're displaying our data on a box plot, plus the fact that we've been given this at the start of the question suggests that what we need to do. That means we need to return to what we had for part one of this question and work out the quartiles and the median for our supermarket set of data. So there's the stem and leaf diagram that we had for the first part of the question. We've got 25 pieces of data. Now the median Remember we're looking at n plus 1, where n is the number of pieces of data, divided by 2. So here, because we've got 25 shoppers, that's 25 plus 1, divided by 2. So that's going to be 26 over 2 which is going to be 13. So remember that tells us that we want the 13th piece of data, not that the median is 13. So we now need to count through and find the 13th piece of data. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our median is 48. Our lower quartile is n plus 1 over 4 because we're a quarter of the way through the data, which is where we divide by 4. So again, n is 25, so it's 25 plus 1 divided by 4. So that's 26 divided by 4, which means we're going to be looking at the 6.5th bit of data. Now obviously we haven't got a 6.5th, bit of data, we've got a sixth and a seventh, so we've got to find our sixth and seventh and find what's halfway between the two. So one, two, three, eight, four, five, six. So six is there, seven is there, so we want halfway between 29 and 32. So remember to find halfway if you're not sure, add the two together and divide by two. So that's 30.5. And finally our upper quartile. Well that's going to be oops. Three lots of our lower quartile. So it's going to be three lots of n plus one divided by four. So it's going to be three lots of 6.5 which is 19.5 so we want the 19.5 bit of data so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 so our 19th is there our 20th is there so we're looking at 55 and 58 so again we want halfway between the two so 55 plus 58 divided by 2 which is 56.5 we've also got to have the lowest and the highest so our lowest is 6 and our highest is 67 So we're back again at our original data. This is what we just worked out, the times for the supermarket. So we'll start by putting the supermarket times on our box plot. So the shortest is going to be at 6. Lower quartile is going to be at 30.5, so very, very close to 30. Median's at 48. The upper quartile is at 56.5. And the longest is at 67. So when we draw in our box plot, it's going to look a bit like this. 
obviously in an exam you would draw yours with a ruler and a pencil so it wouldn't look half as scruffy as this but you get the idea there's my shortest there at 6 there's my lower quartile at 30.5 medium about 48 upper quartile at 56.5 and longest at 67 I'm now going to do the same for the data from the local shop so my shortest was 2 minutes so this person's right down here lower quartile was 10 medium was 14 that there upper quartile was 17 and the longest was 25 so if I draw my box part now again not the absolute straightest and neatest in the world but you've got the idea there's our shortest value at 2 lower quartile at 10 medium at 14 upper quartile at 17 and the longest at 25 minutes. Now we've got to compare the time taken in the supermarket to the time taken at the corner shop. So when you're doing a comparison you want to talk about two things. You want to talk about the average, which in this case is the median, and you want to say not just the average is bigger or smaller, you want to say in terms of what the question's talking about. So here we're talking about the average time taken. So our average time taken, have a look at our medians, there's your corner shop, there's your supermarket, so the average time taken at the corner shop was shorter or you could say the average time taken at the supermarket was longer and you could give a real life interpretation of this as well you could say that this was probably because people who go to the corner shop are likely to be shopping for a couple of things whereas when they go to the supermarket they're probably doing a bigger shop so these people could just be people who've popped in for a pint of milk whereas these people are doing their weekly shop so that's our average we've also got to talk about the range so again the range for the corner shop the difference between the largest and the smallest is much smaller than the range at the supermarket. So the range of times or the spread, which is what the range tells you about, of times at the corner shop. was shorter or was smaller okay so we talk about average and range range is talking in terms of the spread average is taken in terms of what's the median now you could have talked about the interquartile range here as well now we can see the interquartile range the difference between the lower quartile and the upper quartile is still smaller at the corner shop than it is at the supermarket so you could talk about the range or the interquartile range there so that's our question done